Hello, and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series, keeping up with the developments in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Henry Iverson, Co-Founder and Chief Commercial Officer at Boost AI, which helps bank automate and improve customer communications with virtual agents. Henry, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So can you tell me why things like chatbots or virtual agents are becoming so popular with banks today? I think it's because they get a lot of traffic from their customers, and virtual agents are really good at helping customers to get an easy and fast experience online. Virtual agents are getting uh, popular in banking because they can help automate most of the questions they're getting, but also at the same time making sure that you have a nice handover to the right human agent when needed. Everything through the same chat window. But you basically get the best of two worlds. So on one hand, you have the customer getting easy access to the bank's products and services, but also at the same time, the bank is freeing up resources internally, which they can use um, to help the customer which actually needs it. We also see that our customer reports that they actually get a higher usage of the online tools as a result of implementing virtual agents, which really fits nicely into their overall automation strategy. There seems to be a lot of activity in this space. So how does Boost AI sort of differentiate itself from other providers? If you don't understand the problem, you cannot help. So that's the reason we focus on building the most advanced lang natural language understanding possible. So it's a combination of uh, natural language processing, deep learning, but also our secret sauce, automatic semantic understanding. So what the ASU does is it works alongside the deep learning models to actually bring more meaning and context into the conversation with the customers. That brings us possibility to handle more complex questions, but also at the same time uh, reduce the number of false positive. And false positive is giving the wrong answer, which mm. is a big issue in more inferior uh, chatbot technology. So we're able to handle that with, in a good way. Can you talk a little bit about some of your bank clients and really some of the sort of material benefits they're getting from using Boost AI? So we're getting a lot of interesting results now and the result has been actually better than we expected. So for example, DMB, which is the biggest bank in the Nordic um, in, in market value, they actually started working with us in 2018. And their goal was to start automating those thousands of uh, questions they got from customer each day. After six months project, we were able to actually reduce their human chat traffic by over 55%. And just to put that number in context, that means an overall reduction or automation of conversation on over 20%. That's across all channels, including uh, phone, emails, and everything. And recently, Boost AI has expanded into the US. Can you give me the reasons behind that? Banking customers in the Nordics are really tech savvy. So that means that the banks need to be really forward thinking to actually meet their high expectation. So that is a great foundation for us to actually move that platform over to the US, where we see there's a big gap in the market for AI powered virtual agents, which can meet the customer um, expectation, but also the bank's expectation. Okay, and my last question is really around conversational banking. Do you really think that, you know, uh, this, the virtual agents, the chatbots, this conversational banking is the wave of the future? Yeah, definitely. If you look at the result we have gotten in the Nordic market, it's definitely the future. And I think if you look at some of the stuff we work with now, which will definitely change how people interact with the bank. Mm -hmm. For example, for one bank, we're working with the uh, project um, to authorize the virtual agent as a financial advisor. So this is for Essa Bank, one of the biggest banks in Norway. So that means that they are not only restricted to taking simple questions, but also helping people with a mortgage, a retirement plan, and those things. So that kind of a, a big game changer, which will change how people actually interact. Being more personalized and using the information you have about your customer to take it back to the uh, good old days where you actually have the one-to-one -one, uh, communication, which of course benefit both the bank but also the customer. We have just scratched the surface of what's possible with this technology. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see how uh, the virtual agent technology is going to be adapted in the, the banking industry. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Henry. Yeah, thank you.